I'm Zara from Superstitious. This is the name of my clothing brand that I started around 12 years ago now. So I'll give a brief background so you have an idea of who I am and what drew me to creating my designs originally. One of the first things is that I love gothic fashion and other alternative fashion in general. I've been sewing for a really long time and what started out as customising existing clothes or just making pieces for myself soon evolved into making and selling a wider variety of different items that were inspired by places I went to and by the aesthetics of gothic and fantasy culture. I wanted to make things that I could wear to cosplay balls and fantasy events and I drew inspiration from the themes of such places. So when at my most dressed up, my style is usually lots of velvet, lace, corsets and flowy dresses. On the whole, I guess you could say that my style is a mixture of fairy tale, fantasy, with a touch of medieval or romantic goth, Victoriana and steampunk. As a subculture of fashion, goth itself can be quite a broad style, with those subcategories making up a generally darker style that aims to sway away from the norm and from what's deemed basic fashion. The various styles I like definitely reflect in the pieces I make. So every dress I make, I like to give them their own name. This one I called the Scarlet Harlot dress. I'd say it's a bit cabaret style slash highwayman, saloon girl with possible period dress elements in there too. It's constructed of a separate bodice and a full high-low skirt. The next dress I made was just after the Scarlet Harlot dress and it's almost the same but with the exception of the skirt being hitched up at the front. This particular one is made from a cream-coloured flocked taffeta. Proudest achievements as a designer. I'd say being involved in the Brown Stokers fashion show in Whitby back in 2012, home of the famous Whitby Goth Weekend. I dressed no less than 12 models who went out on stage one after the other. Definitely nerve-wracking to say the least, <laughs> especially for my first ever fashion show. Another thing is when I hear from a costa how, how much they love what I've made them, or when I've created a commissioned item that has pushed the limits of what I think I can do, challenged my skills a bit. So as I continue down the line of my business, I, I hope to get more challenges and to build on my sewing capabilities in the future. I do see this happening more at as time goes on because over the years I've expanded my range and I've noticed my progression. So I'm sure I'll continue down this path of evolution even more. I'm happy to be able to say that Superstitious is firmly placed within the boundaries of the slow fashion movement. I source all of the fabric myself as and when I can find something that catches my eye. As a one woman business, I make and produce everything myself. I find that releasing new items on occasion is more exciting than from the viewpoint of my customer base than if I was to say release something every other week because with that there's the element of it being a bit more special that way. I might suddenly knock out a new item on my sewing machine that even I didn't think I was going to make. I think having too many products would make me more disposable and take away from what I'm all about, which is clothing that's to be kept, treasured and worn again and again. So this shoot has been amazing, I've really loved today. It's been so much fun, especially in this stunning surrounding of Burford Manor where we're shooting today and with the lovely models we've used and the makeup artists everything has been brilliant.